Hey everybody, I'm Officer West. And I'm Officer Garrison. And today we're going to talk about our field training program and what it takes for a brand new officer out of the academy to make it to solo patrol. All right, welcome everybody. Again, I'm Officer West. Today we're going to be talking about what it takes for uh, brand new police officers fresh out of the academy uh, to make it to where they're handling calls on their own and doing every aspect of you know, what it takes to be a police officer in the city of Dixon and the process they go through and why we're covering that right now is we actually have an officer, uh, Officer Head, he's recently graduated his academy and you know by all accounts the state of Illinois says that he is a full, fully fledged um, police officer. Uh, however, you know the city of Dixon and many other police agencies we you know, we put officers through what we call a field training program and once they go through that program they get a, a dedicated field training officer that's assigned to that person to ensure that you know they are learning all the you know, procedures and policies of our specific department or the city you know the geography everything else that comes along with it so uh, currently we have uh, officer Scott who is the field training officer for officer head right now and we'll go over to him and have him explain a bit more of uh, what he's going through at this time Dude, so what is he doing back there? I don't know <laughs> what he's doing back there. <clears throat> I need to, I need to uh, back up the chair a little like bit. Me over there. Yeah, I need to sit up a little bit. Here we go. It's, it's 3 a.m. Okay. We just sent your probationer home. Yeah, it's after 3 a.m. and he went home 15 minutes ago now. I'm Officer Scott with the Dixon Police Department. I have uh, 12 years experience in law enforcement and currently I'm an FTO with, with our agency. I'm Officer Garrison, Dixon Police. I've been in law enforcement for going on eight years now. I'm also a field training officer with the Dixon Police. Our FTO process is broken down into three phases uh, with the, an additional shadow phase at the end. And each phase is broken down into uh, different categories which the probationer needs to uh, succeed at before uh, going to the next phase. Phase one will be based on more geography, department policies, uh, just the basics to get the officer up and going to begin training uh, for the first four weeks of being out of the academy. Typically phase one is during the daylight and then the officer will transition to a night shift for phase two and for phase three. So, going over that stop, anything that, let's, let's talk, I guess, uh, positives, negatives, anything that you would change? Uh, I screwed up and then introduced myself. Okay. I don't know if you caught that. Yeah. Okay. So, from my perspective, some of the positives that I would discuss with you would be... And then phase two will begin to more uh, be at a jogging pace for the officer. Then you throw in the element that it puts them on night shift, uh, so kind of throws them off guard to where they uh, have to remember all the uh, all the geography and then it gets them into handling different types of calls uh, on night shift. As you may have learned already, we kind of focus on a lot of different areas when we're training our officers. We look kind of maybe at major points in law enforcement training. The, the most obvious would be the use of motor vehicle. Everybody sees cops driving around in squad cars. Um, so one of the big things we have to look at is how they're driving the car in traffic, how they operate the car when they're responding to an emergency, um, also the use of the equipment within the with the car, including sirens, lights. Yeah, the white Hyundai. Factory. And phase three is more of a running pace to where they are handling 75, 80% up to 90% of the calls on their own uh, without the FTO's assistance. Also, we, we focus on areas with officer safety and patrol tactics and how to be present and how to be safe around individuals for yourself and, and for the community. One of the big points that we try to teach new guys is interpersonal relationships and that's one of the key areas that we also, uh, you know, train them on and that's simply just talking with people and dealing with them and uh, you know trying to relate with them so 
people are our whole job. You know, if people weren't around, we'd just be animal enforcement. But you know, we wouldn't have traffic or anything else. So you know, the, our, our whole job is you know, we're in the people business. So learning how to talk with people, understand you know what's going on with them and how to relate to them. You know, and understand that you know we're humans too. So we we have that immediate connection. And then also under, you know getting the the newer guys to to grasp that you know there's a time and a place for you know people that are going to be angry at us and they're going to be yelling and shouting and everything else and you just sit there and take it because that's part of our job and there's also time to understand that you know on the flip side of that we're not doormats either so there, there comes a time and a place to you know it's time to rock and roll so again relationships are a big thing so if we can try to pass those on and those key points on to uh, you know the, the trainees or the you know the newer officers that's uh, probably a big win for us. So ultimately it's up to the field training officers to you know, ensure that the new officers are you know, fully trained up to the department standards and that you know they have the trust of the department behind them to go out and do things individually. So I, I know from my own experience I couldn't wait to get finished with my field training and I'll listen to what the uh, officers training me had to say but I couldn't wait to go out and you know, get into my own squad car by myself, go handle the calls with the trust of the department behind me, knowing that, you know, what they had trained me with was what I was going to use going forward. I also couldn't wait to get those summer nights where I had the, uh, the windows down in my squad car, cruising through town, the warm air coming in, and building those relationships. We'll see you next time.